guys what's going on David here bringing you a little unboxing we're just about a week away from the launch of Mario Kart 8 so I thought I would stop in at GameStop and pick up these newly released Wii wheels for Mario Kart 8 now these wheels are no not really any different as far as I can tell from the box to the ones that came out for Mario Kart Wii so you can use these for Mario Kart Wii if you choose to. They don't have to be used for Mario Kart 8. Don't have to be used for Mario Kart at all. So with that being said, let's see how these live up to the original Mario Kart Wii Wii. All right, so let's get to it. Now I am uh, I'm free handing this today because we just uh, moved to our new house and I forgot. I don't know where I've left my tripod. So bear in mind, I'm doing this uh, the really improper manner. Okay. So here comes the. There's the wheel. Looks pretty standard. Uh, I really like the gra the Mario resting down here. The Mario Kart 8 logo right here. Let's see if I can pry her out of this plastic sleeve. And it's very lightweight. It has the IR, the window for the IR blaster there. And there's a B button. Or the, well, this thing will press your B button. And this is, you can hear that, this actually has some resistance to it without the Wii Remote being in it. Which is really interesting. Like it's got a substantial press, so really nice. All right, let's see how they look with the Wii. Okay, so we've got them all back unboxed, and we've got the Wii remotes inside of them, and they look really nice, especially with I don't know. I like them with the Mario and Luigi Wii remotes inside of them, but they'll look just as good with the white one in it, and it's. Uh, with the Wii Remote inside of it, it adds a good balance of weight to it. It's very, very light, but not so light that you could toss this thing around. I mean, it's got, it'll feel, it feels really nice in the hands. Very solid build, and I can show you uh, my. I don't have any batteries in the Mario one, but in the Luigi one. You know, if you press the button, it lights up. So I was testing, and this button works really sim it's it's like they were going for a trigger kind of button this time around rather than just being a simple click and it works really well and if I could map that to like a break or something I would actually use it that way I know this is your items but wait, is it your where's oh well, I might be incorrect this might be your drift button either way this but whatever you use this button for will be very very nice especially it's got this little uh, oops sorry got this little indentation where you're you can't graze your finger over it and it's really nice and I apologize for my dirty hands I uh, was doing some <laughs> some work outside um, but yeah you'll know when you hit it there's no way to misplace it because you in your thumb will not slip off of this so this is actually a very nice high, nice nicely built accessory I'm really impressed by this I think I haven't played it yet but I think this will actually be better than the original one so tell me what you think about it and leave me, leave me some comments and I'll get back to you guys soon take care bye